Hey guys, it's Garrett. Hey, it's Kate. Today we are doing uh, the lazy man's method of pompano fishing, which is Walmart pompano rig, fish bites, pyramid weight, and we're gonna sit and we're gonna watch the waves and we're gonna wait for our poles to bend. It's the sitting, sitting and waiting game, so let me get these uh, rigs set and we will uh, join the waiting game with everyone else. See what happens. See you in a bit. Alright guys, so what we're doing, we're doing three baits. All baits are have the same pompano rig. I think it's 20 pound fluoro, one alt circle hook. Uh, but we're using different colored fish bites at different depths. So on the short rod over there, it's just past the cut, um, right before the uh, second sandbar. This one is going past the second sandbar, or I'm sorry, uh, first one is right in between the cut. Um, at the at the foot of the first sandbar. This one's going in the middle of the cut, and then that one, which we haven't even gotten baited yet, is going past the second sandbar. So. What do you do? Ooh. What's up guys, it's Garrett from my office doing a little bit of post-trip commentary. I'm sure you noticed the wind noise by now. It was super windy out there and some of our audio recording was muffled or not even intelligible. So I just wanted to give a little bit of post-trip commentary to basically summarize what I was trying to say and what the wind had covered up. So here we had hooked up on our first pompano. We hadn't even gotten all of our bait set and the middle rod goes off. This just goes to show how fun and exciting, yet how relaxing pompano fishing can be. If you are a relatively novice fisherman, this is the absolute best fishery to get into, to dip your toes into. It's very, very simple. The cost of entry is one of the lowest cost of entries in all of saltwater fishing, and it's easy to do. You set the baits, you sit and wait and on the beach listening to the waves and relaxing. If you want a full guide on how to pompano fish, what rigs to use and what setups to use, there's better YouTubers than me who have uh, recommended plenty of tackle, plenty of baits, and plenty of locations to stake out in order to have a successful pompano trip. So just give them a search and I'm sure you could dip your toes in the water and get your feet wet and figure out how to enter this very easy, low cost of barrier to entry, extremely fun fishery. So hope you guys enjoy the rest of the clip. Is a Florida Pompano. Are you recording for yes. sure? Florida Pompanos taste wonderful. There he goes. I uh, got the second one that I have reeled in without a bite because the waves and the wind and the weight all together mixed looks like a Pompano bite my eyes and it's not so then this guy has to get back to help in the cold and uh put it back in the water oh sorry <laughs> all right kate was recording me oh looky there Another pomp. Kate was recording me throwing out one bait and the other bait goes off. Woo! It. Hold it up. Yeah. Making it better that I filled in two of them that didn't have enough. Yeah. That's another keeper pomp. That's dinner. It's going off right now. So 
This reel right here is two for two. Kate had one on the little reel, so she's uh, 0 for 1 on, on the little short reel. <laughs> We're going to reset this one. This one seems to be the good depth and the good color. Uh, I'm getting tired of casting it out over and over and over, but we've, we're at two pumps, uh, two more and we'll have a pretty good dinner. I haven't even been able to set that line out yet. That's how, that's how hot the action has been. So when we get three, let's see what happens. All right, we got all three lines set. This is the first time I've been able to even sit down. The action's been so hot. Um, although we've only got two pumps in the cooler, we've had four bites in, in the span of a very short amount of time. So uh, the bite's on right now. It's been a little bit between bites. So this is the drone for some B-roll. Kate thinks she's on. I don't know. All right, so she thought she was not on. I thought she was on, thought she wasn't on. And it turns out she was on. And I was just flying the drone. We could have gotten some great drone footage. Pompano number three. Woo! Hold it up. That's a good one. All right. Okay guys, so it's the next day. The Pompano's chilling in the fridge. I'm gonna go ahead and prep our sides. So what we're serving the Pompano um, on is some mashed potatoes, obviously. Uh, got some Yukon Golds and just gonna rough chop those up and get them prepped for the the boiling pot So like I just said, we are making some mashed potatoes to be served with some Brussels sprouts With a balsamic reduction and finally topped with our Parmesan encrusted pompano. It's gonna be a great dish To begin we're rough chopping about three pounds of potatoes into one inch slices and then adding them to lightly salted boiling water for about 10 to 12 minutes or until easily pierced with a fork. Next, we're gonna prep our side vegetables, Brussels sprouts. These can be any vegetable that you prefer. I like Brussels sprouts because they have a little bit of tanginess, a little bit of uh, bitterness that can offset the richness of the mashed potatoes. We're gonna cut the large sprouts into quarters while just having the smaller sprouts. After that, we're gonna dump them into a bowl and coat generously with olive oil and the seasoning of your choice. I chose every, every white person's favorite, everything but the bagel seasoning, um, but you can cho choose any seasoning of your, of your choice. We're then gonna set those aside uh, for air frying at a later point in the cook. Next, we can go ahead and start on our balsamic reduction. This sounds fancy and intimidating, but it's really not. Just simmer some balsamic vinegar in a small saucepan until it's reduced to the consistency of your liking. I prefer thick, syrupy consistency, but you can have more watery anywhere in between. That's literally it. Just reduce some balsamic vinaigrette on the stovetop until it reaches the cons consistency that you like. As our potatoes are nearly done, we can start melting a whole stick of unsalted butter while combining with a high fat dairy. I had some half and half lying around, but whole milk is probably better for this task. At least try to use a cup of the stuff. Unlike me, I only had just maybe a quarter cup left here, but honestly, it's not gonna hurt the dish. More is better in this case, but you can get away with what, what I used. Spill and drain the potatoes and place it back into your pot. Next, we're gonna add some garlic for additional flavor. In this case, I used the canned stuff, but I strongly recommend crushing your own cloves. It's gonna have more flavor and be fresher overall, but you can get away with the canned stuff if that's all you have. Finally, we are ready to combine our dairy fats with the potatoes. Once added, we're either going to hand mash or in my case, use a hand mixer to do the job for us. 
I preferred mashed potatoes with a little bit of chunkiness, so I recommend mixing until you reach your desired consistency. Once you've reached the desired consistency that you like, add some salt and pepper to taste, and you just made some mashed potatoes that put the boxed instant stuff to shame. Finally, we're ready to cook our Brussels sprouts. I chose an air fryer, but this works just as well in a conventional oven. We're just going to coat the inside of the air fryer with some spray oil and cook at 385 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes or until crispy and brown. Just keep an eye on it because once it reaches the, the crispy brown level, it can quickly burn thereafter. We're now ready for the pompano. Like I said earlier, we're going to pan fry this in a Parmesan and breadcrumb mixture. So first, we obviously have to grate our Parmesan and a lot of it. Combine your grated Parmesan with some breadcrumbs while adding garlic powder, paprika, and onion powder for additional seasoning. I don't really measure these out, but kind of eyeball each seasoning respectively. We're going to dry out our fish while oiling our pan and getting it hot. Once the pan is hot, the pompano will go into an egg wash and then is dipped into our Parmesan breadcrumb mixture. We're gonna cook the pompano on both sides for about four to five minutes or until crispy and browned. Once all of your pompano is cooked, we can finally plate up. This dish is very complex with a lot of different notes and a lot of different qualities. It's rich with the mashed potatoes, crispy with the Brussels sprouts, and flaky with the pompano and Parmesan breading. The balsamic re reduction gives it a much needed acidity and tanginess as well that doesn't overwhelm the dish. You would easily pay 30, maybe more, $40 for this dish at an upscale restaurant. When made for yourself, the grand total only comes out to be around $10 to $15, and that's for multiple servings. So next time you find yourself on the beach, this recipe may come in handy and give your wallet a much needed break. So go out there and catch some pompano and give this dish a shot. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, we are, oh, there you go, David. There you go. Is that him? I think that's him. Yeah, I think so. Wow. <laughs>